Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Stuntman2536 here. Today, I got a video tutorial for you guys on Handbrake for Mac. What this is, is it basically lets you take DVDs off the DVD and put them into your iTunes library so you can watch them on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, iPod Classic, all that stuff. So, basically, start. we'll start off with programs. You're going to first need Handbrake. These are both free, by the way, guys. Handbrake, I'll put links in the description. And VLC. VLC um, helps encode it, and Handbrake basically just takes it off. So you're going to need both of those, and you're going to need them both running. So I'll put links in the description um, just to show you guys this is what the websites will look like. This is what Handbrake will look like, and then VLC will look... Just make sure you don't uh, download them from third-party sources. I'll get the right links in there for you guys. So what we're going to do is, first, what we'll do is we'll make sure there's no D DVD or anything in your drive right now. And then we'll pop one in right now. Okay, so that's so this is loading up. And then we're going to hit, once it loads, we're going to hit Source. Now we're just going to wait desktop no DVD player sorry about that guys so and then on the desktop we're gonna we're gonna hit Toy Story 3 because that's the video or it'll be whatever video you're doing I'm just gonna example with Toy Story 3 so we got that and so yeah you hit Toy Story 3 so you hit that and then you're gonna wanna hit activity window and it's gonna scan all go through all of the titles and just basically scan the disk so we're just gonna wait for that so I'll be back in a minute once this is done okay so we are back um, as you can see it's finished the encoding it's finished scanning anyways and then we so we have all these different options back up here so first of all title it'll normally have this right you just wanna make sure you got the longest one selected different titles different it's it's just all confusing. Just normally keep it. It'll scan for the right one. Uh, angle you want to keep at one, and then it's gonna do chapters one through thirty six. That's the whole thing. If you want just a certain scene, you can rip just a certain scene, uh, and you can go by frames and you can go by seconds too. And then what you're gonna want to do is you gonna want to choose where you want it to export. I'm just that's gonna be fine for me. I'm just gonna change it so you can you can go in here type in whatever you want to call it so and then save wherever you want and then you can have it as a mp4 file or an mkv file if you want to be putting this on your ipod ipod touch iphone any of that uh... you're gonna want to do mp4 cuz itunes will read that and that'll sync to your ipod um, depending on what you want you can do i would just keep the video codec at this and the frames per second i would do the same as source because that'll make it the best quality and then, so this is pretty much fine here. If you're going into audio, you don't you don't need to mess with it. It's pretty much scans it all right. If you want to put subtitles in, you can. Um, I mean, there's not. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do, but just play around with it if you feel like it. But I would suggest just leaving it and um, just leaving it how it is, and then it'll be fine. And if you if you do select a different title, there's a preview window. And you can see if you want to like if that's the right one. So if you click the wrong one, like for example, if you did like this one, that's like two minutes fifty nine seconds. If you did a preview window, there's just like an intro or something. Or for example, this one that's eighteen seconds this is probably just like an ad at the end. See, it's just eighteen seconds. So just keep it how it is at what I had it, which I think was something like this something in here I think second let me I gotta try and find this again sorry about that guys I'm pretty sure I had 77 or just something like that it'll 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 get you so you just wanna just leave it alone and then it'll have you fine and now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit you're just gonna wanna make sure you have this right going through it I mean it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you have one that's about the length of the movie, you should be good. And then you can just hit start, and then what it'll do is it'll start now. What it's going to do is it's going to start encoding. We're just going to wait for this, and so here we go. 
and as you can see down here it's going and it's it's gonna take a while I ran the scanning overnight as I started doing it a little late I just ran the scanning overnight and starting again tonight um this can take half an hour an hour depending on the length of the movie this one says it's gonna be 30 minutes I don't rely on that too much I don't think it's too accurate we're at one percent that took about maybe 20 seconds so if you guys want to do the math I mean it's not gonna take you it's not gonna take that long maybe start this go out to dinner or something go eat your dinner do some just do something in the meantime let it run overnight but I'll show you guys what and um, as we can see here it's exporting right onto our desktop where we told it to go and so I will see you guys when this is done okay it is time to put your cocktail down because handbrake cue is done that took about 30 minutes something like that so the timing actually was pretty accurate so once it's done you can just hit okay you can close this you can actually quit handbrake here um you can quit VLC you're done with those two things and now all you have to do is watch watch your movie that you have now encoded so here we go I didn't encode it at the best quality I kept it as it was so here we go just to show you guys this is the movie you're probably not gonna be here because I'm not recording computer art audio sorry about that but anyway see it we got Toy Story 3 so I'll let you, I'll let you guys just comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment, send me a message. Um, I'll be happy to answer them all. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.